Hi, this is Beth Essington. We're going to talk a little bit about yarn and all the different kinds that have come out. There's some beautiful stuff out today at the yarn stores. Just amazing yarn made of all sorts of different things. They're now making yarn from corn, soy, crab, shrimp. Uh, what else? You can get yak fur yarn. You can get, uh, I think there's actually one that's possum, which is kind of strange, but pretty much everything. They even have a company now that will take your pet's fur and actually weave it into a yarn and you can actually make a blanket out of your cat or dog's fur if you want to save up bags and bags of it. So there's all sorts of beautiful yarns. This one here is actually kettle dyed. So even though they're very similar when you get a lot of them in, they're, they vary in color just a little bit because they're kettle dyed. This particular one is made in Central America actually by some women who live in a shelter and all the money and the proceeds go to the shelter. So that's a, a good cause as well as a wonderful yarn. It's a merino wool. It's very nice to work with. It's, it's wonderful. This here is a very, very thin yarn, really tiny. It's got, as you can see, little flags on it. It also has some metallic in it. Uh, it's beautiful, made up by itself. It's also very pretty mixed in with other yarns. You could do scarves or whatever you wanted. And it's actually very soft, surprisingly, even with the metallic in it. This is another one here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's got a little bit of velour in it and very, very, very soft. And this is also a self-striping yarn. And as you can see, it goes from orange to it has a magenta and some white in it and different shades. So you'll get a mixture, uh, sometimes blotches of color, sometimes stripes, depending on what you're making or doing with it. This here is a big, chunky, bulky yarn. They're a lot of fun to work with and they go very quickly. Now this is real interesting because as you can see, it gets very thin and very thick. So when you finish your item, you have a very interesting article, but it makes some beautiful things. I've seen this made up and it's very, very pretty. This one here is a great yarn. It has about eight different kinds of yarn, but they're all attached to each other and there's no knots, so it just changes. So you can go from like a metallic to one with little flags on here. You've got kind of like a little mohair. This is a combination of wool and kind of a silky, here's an eyelash yarn because it looks like eyelashes. Uh, it's a lot of fun to work with and it makes just beautiful things. 